Hi, I'm Terry Zaleski, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2014 New York State Career School Convention. This year's event was held at the luxurious Villa Roma Resort and Conference Center in Calicoon, New York. The special focus of this year's convention was navigating the future with proud performance and running your school efficiently and effectively. This year's convention featured curriculum review specialist Dr. Thomas Reimer from the Bureau of Proprietary School Supervision and technical expert Dr. William Hoover from Bunker Hill College. They offered practical advice on how to run a successful blended learning program that features both online and on-site training. How many of you know that the students that graduated high school this past year is younger than the internet? <laughs> Did you know that? They also addressed how to get state approval for these programs. This blended learning will be an excellent opportunity for schools to make it a bit easier for students to learn certain subjects. The Honorable Kevin Smith, Deputy Commissioner of the New York State Education Department, spoke about the importance of private career schools in New York State. Thank you, Terry, very much. There is nothing that will legitimize us more than connecting directly to the P-12 system. New York State's career proprietary schools play a very essential role in providing educational opportunities to young people who may not be able to or may not want to go to a two or four year degree granting institution. It's this presentation explained all you need to know about working with Access VR consumers. Deborah Brown Johnson, and Frank Coco from Access VR addressed how schools can serve those with various disabilities. You know, we're looking to give people the skills that not just get them into any entry level job earning $8 an hour. At the end of the day, the job that may be found for them, that may work for them, may be close to home, may be, you know, some other things that meet their specific need because as it relates to the disability. And I think that's a, a very good example about that kind of work because that really is, for VR, the business that we're in. Thank you. Michael Dacto, Vice President of Military that's and Veterans well Affairs for APSCU, defined military-friendly and veterans-friendly. He spoke about how we can best serve and meet the specific needs of returning U.S. veterans and their families. Military-friendly has to be more than a slogan. It has to be more than a catchphrase in higher education. Socializing and networking is a very important aspect of every New York State Career School convention. We enjoy delicious food and many interesting exhibits, vendors from all across the country displaying products and services that will benefit our schools for many years to come. The New York State Career School convention helps benefit the National Health Career Association by getting our name out there. We have great networking here, and it's always fun to see familiar faces. We develop products for schools, for the career schools, and they're very effective at helping them at the things they need and helping their students. And this convention gives us access to the very best of the career schools. This is our fourth year attending, and this is the only way to meet with the decision makers of the private career schools in New York. And I will put hands down that Terry and Lynn and the team at the coalition do the best job of organizing and getting the vendors out there and making the people come see the vendors. It's the best show. One of the features of this year's convention was the many interesting breakout sessions. David Kanaski spoke about compliance with the Campus Security Act, the Cleary Act, and showed us that there's so much more than just crime statistics. But those kids did not, those incidents did not occur in their crime statistics because one part of the school was doing this and a different part of the school was doing the crime statistics. We're doing everything on iPads. Expert panelists included best-selling New York Times author Dan Schwabel, who spoke about reinventing your school brand to survive and thrive. Mobile's huge, so the average job seeker now spends minimum four hours a week on their mobile phone. And the highlight of the week, to the delight of all in attendance, was the presentation of the Outstanding Graduate Awards for 2014. Of course, the real fun is recognizing some very, very special individuals. Some of our students. Jason Osborne, come on forward. Here, so this award is for you as well, to help me excel, to get where I am at right now in my life. Yeah. 
It is our honor to nominate outstanding graduate and 11-year Navy veteran, Stephanie Spencer. We at Lincoln Technical Institute are very grateful for the post 9-11 bill. Um, this has allowed us to witness the growth and success of many military veterans. They have guided me to where I am now as a fleet supervisor at Conant. Thank you guys. And we have another nominee, and this one is kind of sweet. She is the owner and operator of Mandy's Cakery. I hit the pavement, I never stop. I just keep going. Um, I'm growing my business. This is a pleasure. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for taking part in this year's convention. It was a wonderful event because of you. For more information about the Coalition of New York State Career Schools, including our next convention in 2015, please go to our website at cnyscs.com.